so today is going to be kind of a calm video. I have a lot of catching up to do. It's nothing crazy, but I do have three shows coming up next month in March. I'm seeing IO and then I'm seeing Subtronics two times. Um, we're going to the Philly show, which we couldn't miss because that's his home and we already know that that show is going to be crazy and I can't wait to see the difference between his set that he's going to do for Philly, which is his home show, and I feel like every artist is so different when they do their home shows and I've never seen Zoptronics in... okay. That's a lie. I have seen Zoptronics in Philly when I went to hijinks. I've never like seen him on his own tour, so I'm... Who am I conducting? Subtronics! Subtronics, I'm speaking to you! Then... Wh where were we? Oh, this just started and I'm already all over the place. And then we are seeing him at the Avon and it's not going to be my first time. Actually, I.O. is going to be my first time at the Avon and it's going to be my first time seeing him. So I am so, so, so excited. I love I.O. I love his music. I love his persona on stage. I'm just, I'm so excited to finally see him live. That is what we are getting prepared for today. I wanted to do a video on 10 items that you can give people at raves to make friends or just like to strike up a, a conversation because I know that every time I even just go to a show people are so friendly and so nice and it really is very easy to talk to people at raves but I am shy, I am awkward, I don't even know how to start a conversation in my normal life <laughs> so hopefully these items help you like they have helped me to start talking to people at raves and to make friends and even if you don't want to start a conversation with someone and you just want to give these things to someone just to be plur and just to be very nice and sweet. It's also why I created this list because some of these on the list is from experience that I wish I would have had at a festival so I can give them to someone and the other things are things that I have given people and these things have helped me start talking to people or it was just really nice and I would run up to them and I would give them a piece of gum and they would just thank me and give me a hug and it was so nice and ah, I can go on and on about how nice people are at raves but we're gonna get on with the video I want to make a perler for the Subtronic shows that are coming up. I'm not making two separate ones because I'm being completely honest. I am not the best with with perlers. I can make candy for sure. I love making candy, but perlers, uh, that's not very, very good at perlers. So I thought it would be just really fun to make this perler while I'm talking to you guys, while I'm giving you these items. We can just hang out. At the end of the video, we can see what this perler turns out to, while also having 10 new items that you can give people at raves to start making friends, to help with easy conversation. That's it. That's all I want to say. Let's get started. I don't know if I want to do a little Cyclops or if I just want to put Subtronics. I think it would be kind of fun if I did the Cyclops, but I don't really have like yellow. I have like this yellow, but I don't think that's enough. So maybe I can just get creative. Uh, I don't know how I would get creative with that. I don't think I have the colors that I want to create the Cyclops, so I think I'm just going to do Cyclops Army. So just two words, but like I said, 
I'm not good at perlers, so we're gonna see how this goes. So gonna... Ooh, before I start this, I have my notes right here, so you're probably gonna see like the notebook. Oh, there's something I have to grab. Hold on, hold on. This is a new thing for my girlfriend and I. I never used to bring these things to raves and I'm still very, very new in the rave community. I really haven't gone to a lot of raves at all. I've gone to quite a lot of shows, but I haven't gone to a lot of raves yet. But this year, so far, we are going to EDC, Electric Zoo, Wakan and hopefully EDC Orlando or imagine first thing that you can give people at raves is light up rings I Love these things someone gifted me one at hijinks I already wrote in my hijinks review about this story So if you already read that you already know the story, but during hijinks I think it was the second day we were looking for a light up ring that we saw everyone had and at first we thought that someone was giving someone a light show so we went up to them and it was just a ring and we were like no way that's just a ring and it was literally just a ring and she was just like dancing and just moving like this and it looked like she was literally giving someone a light show and we were like that is so cool I've seen these rings before but we just you know, we just really wanted one. So we were walking around, we were looking at the vendors at Hijinx, and we were trying to find this ring, and we could not find the ring. So we were just standing in this area, and we were like, okay, where is this ring? And we were like, maybe it could be at this vendor, maybe it could be here. You no, know, let's, let's go around one more time, and let's find it, and then if we don't find it, it's whatever. Like, we'll get one another day. And I saw this group of people walk by us, and I saw this guy, literally, while we were talking about the ring, this guy had the ring on his hand. So I ran up to him and I was like, hey, this is the ring that we were trying to find. It's just a cat and it lights up. Where'd you get your ring? Like, we've been trying to find that ring everywhere. And he was like, oh, someone just gave it to me. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, well, thank you. And then he was like, do you want it? And I was like, what? <laughs> yes? And he gave it to me. And then he said, happy hijinks. Oh my god. And I just, that made me so happy. He just gave me his ring. And we were screaming. <laughs> we were so happy. And he was so nice. Everyone at hijinks was so nice. I would go again this year. But we might be going to countdown but if we don't go to countdown we're, we're definitely going to go to hijinks again because that really was a nice festival it was small but it, the vibes and the energy was amazing and i would go again 100 percent we got these at target it's just a pack of six and we got them so we could hand them out to people at raves they're just simple Simple light up rings that are supposed to work. Am I missing something here? Uh, hmm. Okay. Are there instructions? Am I missing something? Oh, I got it. I just hit it on the table. That's it. I think I messed this one up a little bit. Let's see if we can get this one to work. Oh, you just have to hit it on something. So they're cute, just like little light up rings. And we got a pack of six. So we can hand these out at the next rave, which is EDC. So excited. Where did I put the thing? So the next thing I have on my list of items that you can give people at raves is mini finger puppets. And I have seen these everywhere i have seen these everywhere they're getting so popular it's crazy 
especially like little dinosaurs and tentacles. I have seen those everywhere and it's crazy how popular they've gotten and I remember this uh, girl came up to me at Global during Dr. Fresh and she just like waved her little dinosaur puppet at me and I was like oh my god that's so cute and then we just started dancing together and we danced um, and we danced to Dr. Fresh together for like half of his set and then I turn around and she's gone which is usually what happens but she was super nice and I had an amazing time and I've had so many people just come up to me and wave their little finger puppets or I see them dancing with their little finger puppets and I think it's the cutest thing. I, we got these at Target too. We got these little eyeballs and I think they're super cute and I think this was a dollar and it's like a, oh I think it's like a pack of six and they're just they're cute little <laughs> and eyes move. So cute. And then the last thing we got were these little finger puppets and they feel so cool <laughs> they feel crazy they feel so soft but they're little monsters like this who are you looking at who you looking at who are you? me Me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Things like this, I think it would be super easy to just start talking to people. And people will also start talking to you first if you have these. And they'll be like, what are those? And you just tell them about the, their finger puppets. Do you want one? And you just give them one. And it's just... It's very cute and very nice and you have no idea, it really does make people's nights. Like just this little ring that I received from that guy was just, it made my entire night. Like I'm going to still use the yellow and I'm going to go black, white, black, white. small I want to make it. I don't want to make it huge because I know I'm going to be heading in my heart away so the moment we get there I know I'm going to get distracted and just like I am right now I'm going to get distracted and I'm going to take it off because when I'm headbanging it's just going to hit me in the face just like every time I try and every time I try and wear some kind of necklace, it just doesn't work because I love headbanging too much and the necklace just hits me and it hurts, so I have to take it off right away. So the third item that I have for you guys is flow rings and or um, I always call them flow rings, but they're not flow rings, they're called like gravity rings. I think they're called gravity rings and I can't even tell you how many times we brought that thing out and people keep asking like what is that what is that and we're just like playing with it and we're like I don't know <laughs> it's just it's super fun and then we're like do you want to try it and then we like give it to them and they just have a really great time with it even if you never use it and your rave fam or anyone that you meet at a rave uses it way more than you do, I definitely, definitely recommend getting this. It, it's so much fun. And it's a great centerpiece. <laughs> we have two of them and I use one for my TV stand. I, even if you need a new centerpiece in your home, get a gravity ring. I'm telling you, I got distracted, and I just noticed that I spelt Cyclops wrong. 
How did I not notice that? I knew I would have to start over. I knew it. I knew. I knew it. I knew this would happen. Oh my god. I said Psylop. Psylop. I said Psylop. Oh. Alright. I think we're getting somewhere. I fixed the Psylops. Don't even know how I did that. I think I was just super distracted. Okay, moving on. The fourth thing I have is candy. Don't forget about candy. I have noticed so much that candy is just dying out. And it's so sad because I don't want candy to die out. That's like my favorite part is trading candy. And I don't do it at all anymore. No one wants to trade. No one makes candy anymore. No one wears candy anymore. I mean, I still see people wearing it, of course. But I just, people aren't trading anymore. And it's, it's so weird. And you probably know how much time it takes to make candy. It takes patience. Your back starts hurting from going like this and making the candy. And sometimes they break, so you have to start all over again. It just, and if you want to get like more complex, it takes even longer, and you already know the struggle. So just don't stop trading, continue trading, continue making candy, get creative with it. And for number five, uh, this one is very, very popular, but I recommend it 100%, is to give people gum or candy, and not the bracelet, I mean regular candy. and. The regular candy part is kind of tricky because most raves and festivals won't allow you to bring food in, but if you're able to bring in some candy, I feel like if it's wrapped up, they won't really care that much. Yeah, give people gum, give people candy, they'll love it. And one thing that I haven't tried yet, but I think it would be super fun and I saw it on Reddit, try and give people Pop Rocks. The sixth thing I have on items that you can give people at a rave are mini fans. I thought of this idea at Electric Zoo last year because it was super hot and I saw this person like fanning themselves with their shirt or like pashmina, I forgot what it was, but they were fanning themselves with like some type of fabric, I think it was like their shirt and I was like oh my god but thankfully I had my fan so like I fanned them for a little bit and they were so thankful but I couldn't fan him you know like all night long and I felt really bad because like I couldn't fan him that long but like I, I really was trying and I wish that I had like a couple mini fans that I got off like Wish or Amazon because ever since then I started looking at like packs on Amazon and I've seen like 10 mini fans for I don't know like $10 I, I forgot what the price was but I'm going to get some of those and keep extra mini fans in my hydration pack from now on so if I see anyone super hot or if I see anyone that's like really hot and really needs a fan and you can tell that they don't have one I want to be able to have the opportunity to give someone a fan. I would get those if you can. I think it would be a nice little addition to your hydration pack. I'm thinking I can just like cut up a cloth like a washcloth and just bring like a tiny little square with me so you can put the temporary tattoos on everyone. For number nine I have purlers! <laughs> Surprise! That is actually how I got this idea <laughs> of making this purler. I was like well it's on my list so I can make this 
interesting. And number 10 is diffraction glasses. Diffraction glasses are so fun to give people. The reactions you get are the cutest thing. And I know a lot of people just get like the 100 pack on Amazon. It's just like the paper diffraction glasses. I don't think I would ever get those. I think it's just really fun to give people the like your diffraction glasses and then just ask them like you want to try this and most of the time they're gonna say yeah yeah of course I, I was a little hesitant at first to put these on the list because they are very fun to give people but not for them to like keep a lot of people don't take that into consideration that like you're not giving them your glasses I've had this happen to me a couple times where we give people our diffraction glasses and we ask if they want to try them and then they try them and try and then they start walking away and we have to be like um I'm sorry I need those back and then usually they're like oh I'm sorry I'm sorry and like it's fine but not paying attention someone might run away with your diffraction glasses so I would be kind of careful with that I would just keep an eye on them if you don't want to lose them because I don't think it's just something that they're really caring about they're just like in the moment and they're not really focusing on like giving it back I don't know if that like makes sense but you know what I mean I am going to finish this parlor and it's probably gonna take me like in another hour so then show you guys what it turns out to and what it looks like because I'm super super excited to see it as well and see what it's gonna turn out to but other than that thank you so much for watching And in the future, I hope all of these items help you make new friends, help you make new Ray friends. And then one, one last thing, I just wanted to announce that our Etsy shop is open. This is one of the shirts that are available on our shop. It's just a reverse tie-dye t-shirt. And we do reverse tie-dye, colored tie-dye, and solid t-shirts and we can do any logo or design that you want so this is very exciting it's a very new beginning so click the link in my description to go to our etsy shop grab yourself a shirt or send me a message on etsy and we can make you your very own custom t-shirt thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me let's just finish this perler then we are all done